Hi guys, it's Father's Daughter. I hope that everyone is having a really, really great day and blessings to all of you. I also pray that um, your eyes and your ears will hear whatever um, I read to you today. In Jesus' name, amen. This is um, Proverbs chapter 10. We are going on with our Bible study Part 3, The Folly of Wickedness, The Wisdom of Righteousness. The Proverbs of Solomon, A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivereth from death. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a prating fool shall fall. And prating means to talk excessively or babble, okay? He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. He that winketh with the eye causeth sorrow, but a prating fool shall fall. And that reminds me when they say that the prating fool and being the fact that to talk excessively or babble, it brings me back to the Tower of Babel that um, God destroyed and uh, made everyone talk a different language and that's how we got all of our different languages something to think about and a whole other different Bible study the mouth of the righteous man is a well of life but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked hatred stirreth up strifes but love covereth all sins in the lips of him that hath understanding wisdom is found but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of the righteous tendeth to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refuseth reproof erreth. He that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. In the multitude of words there wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. So just don't say anything. You know better. The tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. It is as sport to a fool to do mischief.
but a man of understanding hath wisdom. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. As the whirlwind passeth, so is the wicked no more, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation. As vinegar to the teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that send him. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the froward tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speaketh frowardness. And remember what frowardness was. Um, it's to habitually dispose to disobedience. So just always bad, bad, bad talking. Okay. And then I have a psalm to give you guys as well. My soul melteth for heaviness strength. Thou me according unto thy word. Psalm 119.28 I pray that this helps somebody today. I pray that if you are not saved, that you get saved. Um, believe in the Lord Jesus. Repent of your sins. He knows what you did already. He just wants you to build a relationship with him and believe in him and trust in him. And as soon as you do that, um, you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. And it will help you with your daily walk every day. Um, Jesus was the perfect blood sacrifice. He died. He rose again on the third day for you, for me, for everyone, all of us who believe that um, none of, he wishes that none of us perish so and have everlasting life with him in heaven. Okay? I pray that you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And, um, yep, have a wonderful day.